Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. I didn't film a full vlog yesterday, my first day in my new position. Uh, I was focused more on, well, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and it was a little bit of uh, an abnormal day, I think. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out what my regular days will be like. I got to work, the truck wouldn't start. <laughs> then I had a bunch of meetings in the morning, you know, making sure the payroll goes to the right account and uh, going over my contract and all this other stuff. And then I was supposed to have a social media meeting in the afternoon. But <laughs> I went to go uh, bring Andy the Kenworth guy that T680. And then he gave me a ride over to Beaver uh, Volvo where I picked up that Volvo and I brought that back, but that Volvo wouldn't start. So I was stuck there for a couple of hours while they were trying to get it started because it was too cold. And by the time I got back to the yard, uh, it was too late for our social media meeting. So I didn't film the whole vlog. Uh, I, I sort of want to wait to uh, put anything together until I sit down with them and we agree on everything and you know, just have a chat at least. Uh, and that's supposed to happen today, like late morning, afternoon. So if you're seeing this, everything went really well. <laughs> there she is. Needs a bath, but that's okay. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. It's not that cold out today. It's minus three Celsius, which is close to freezing point in Fahrenheit, whatever that is, just above freezing. So it won't be that much of a cold start. A little bit. Let's go see how she fires up. Good morning, my new friend. We are going to be really good pals. Yes. Oh. Okay. You guys ready for this? And... There you are. Wonderful. Yeah, it wasn't really a cold start at all. It's not cold enough today. Oh well, it was still fun. So this is my uh, my new home here. Oh, my interior light doesn't work there. That one doesn't work either. Do any of these things work? Oh. Maybe there's a trick to it? Are they all burnt out? Okay, there must be something wrong with the... There must be a switch somewhere. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Can't figure out how to get the interior lights on in here. No, it's gotta be... Oh, this. Maybe? No, no, that's for those. Huh. Could be that uh, they're all just burnt out. Huh. Look at this. Where are they? There they are. Let's see, are they working? Oh yeah. Fancy, right? You remember these guys? <laughs> so we have a 53 foot flat bed here. We gotta bring out to Eli, Manitoba. Uh, it's probably about a, an hour drive from here. Just gonna make sure there's air in all the tires, make sure all the lights are working. We could drop this there so it can be loaded. Everyone's working on this thing. Nice start to the day. I don't think I'll be loading there. I think I'm just dropping it there, but I don't got uh, much equipment to tie a load down right now. So if they want me to actually load, I'll have to double check and make sure because I'll have to grab some extra equipment before I go. Oh, let's make sure that there's air in the suspension back here. It's one thing you always want to make sure. A lot of drivers, when they drop a trailer, they'll drop the air first, and that saves the uh, the landing gear up front from being uh, bent and such. It's usually on the driver's side here. <sighs> Oh, 
You know, it would probably help if we charged the trailer first. Ah. All right, down here. Put air to the trailer. The, the, the trailer, the trailer will be much more pressurized if you first pressurize it. I'm a barrel of knowledge. Now we'll walk around again, make sure we don't hear any air leaks back here. I didn't hear any at the front of the trailer there at the glad hands. See, so hear that noise? That's not an air leak, that's the system charging with air, pressurizing. See, these bags are still empty. You want to see those things fill up with air before you pull this thing anywhere. It sounds like everything is working just fine here. And the needle is starting to move up very slowly, but it is starting to move up. So that's good. That means there is pressure to the trailer. Okay, we'll give it a minute here to fill all the way up. And then we'll take off. Off to Eli we go. Can you see it? Now the trailer deck is lifting. And you'll see in here that uh, the airbags are now filling with air. You don't want to pull this trailer away, or any trailer away, until you have air in those bags. You can make some very costly damages if you don't make sure that the trailer is filled with air before you leave. Uh, like I was saying before, a lot of drivers drop the air when they drop the trailer to save the landing gear so that it doesn't twist the landing gear. Some people do, some people don't. Just make sure you always double check.
trailer down real nice. out of it we're not in a hurry there we go okay I'm gonna call in and see what's next where are they where are they there you go okay we've been told bobtail back let's take this bad girl back It was a good meeting. Uh, I'm happy to be able to show you a lot more now. And we'll start with that mostly tomorrow. Uh, I'll show you the truck here now, but the truck is really dirty right now and it's gonna stay dirty for the rest of the week because we got snow melting right now. It's springtime here and it's gonna get warmer and warmer throughout the week. So the road's gonna get more and more slushy and mucky. It's gonna be impossible to keep this thing clean. So we're gonna wait till the snow's gone and then we're gonna spend some time polishing and cleaning this truck making it look mint okay for now i'll show you the truck just keep in mind it's not always going to be this dirty i hate having dirty vehicles but in at this time of year there's nothing i can do about it there she is this is what i'll be rolling around in believe it or not it is actually a white truck <laughs> she's an old one and she's got these little horns on her here uh they used to be mirrors i guess uh came off the side here and someone i guess thought it would be funny to make it look like horns i didn't do that but <laughs> whatever <laughs> that's funny and uh yeah there's that side over there she's an old one she's got a little bit of rust around the windshield there but that's okay, because this is an old school truck. No DEF, none of those crazy computer things that all the new trucks have nowadays that always break. Straight up put diesel fuel in it and go. 
got a headache rack on it. I'll be doing some flatbed work. Uh, stretched wheelbase. I'll, I'll call it that because it's not actually stretched. There used to be a sleeper on there. And then uh, this used to be one of their highway trucks way back in the day. I can still remember it. I was still, uh, I was working here already when this truck was on the highway. A nice little sleeper back there. They needed some city trucks. So they bought, uh, like there's a Western Star over there. That's one of their newer trucks in their fleet. I drove one just like that. That one's unit number 3079. I was unit 3080 for about three years drove one just like that and they got the new trucks and they uh, turned these into little city trucks and this is what I'm gonna be torquing around in those pipes sound great that's another reason why I don't care if it's an old truck it sounds great old trucks are better anyway so don't quite take a mental image of this truck as it is right now. Just wait until next week. We're gonna get it all cleaned up. My pickup is somewhat clean. Cleaner anyways, right? See, before I, uh, let's go out this way where there's less wind. Before I left here this first time, oh, it's even windier here. I was in a truck exactly like that, the Peterbilt. It's a lot bigger inside than it looks. And then right behind it there, that is 3063, I believe, and I was 3062. That's the Volvo. So I've driven that truck, a truck just like that here, driven the Volvo here, driven their Western Stars here, each one for a couple of years. And here we are in this right now. I'll show you the truck that they were actually gonna put me in at first. <laughs> they were gonna put me in this, 2025, which is a nice truck, same idea. Uh, I think it has better headlights, actually. Oh no, very much the same. Very much the same. But uh, it is older, if you go inside here. It's just got a bit of an older cab. It was just uh, freshly detailed. Can't see out the back window though. It smells great in here. It's ready to go. I think they had it detailed for me. But when I got here yesterday, it wouldn't start. I wonder if it'll start today. Is the key in here? Oh. I don't know if she'll start today. See the aid, the, the gauges are a little more old school. Oh, now she starts. Now she starts. Okay. Well, this would have been our view. <laughs> but uh, since this truck didn't start for me because it was too cold yesterday morning, they put me in the other truck. See that one had the black logos, black hood, black fenders. Nice color scheme. Can't see through the back window though. You guys remember uh, traveling around in this? I took Britt and the dogs up in, not exactly this truck, but a truck exactly like this. Uh, it was just 3080. Uh, we took it all the way up to Yukon, remember? Up by Alaska. Oh, the truck exactly like this. <laughs> yeah, this truck's got a little bit more rust there, but... And I'll show you the interior of this one again. Okay. Already got my phone mount on there. And a little bit of a newer model in here, right? And I like this truck. I got into it yesterday and I figured, you know what? Why don't I just stay in this one? It's running. A little bit of a issue with a steering wheel there, but it's not anything that I can't deal with. It's just someone's had their hand here for so long that it's actually worn through. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's old. It's old, but uh, it's gonna be our truck. And I got the window that I can see at the back. I don't use it often, but it is very handy to have that at times, especially in the city. So anyway, videos from now on should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to show you what kind of freight we haul. I'm excited to uh, see if you guys maybe wanna come and join me here and work with me. It's a great place to be. Uh, I'll put links on my Facebook channels and stuff. Maybe I'll put a link down below in the description of my videos as well. Uh, I'll have to get to that probably this coming weekend. But if you go to my Facebook, I've already shared it there. Uh, they're looking for drivers and uh, be cool to work with you. Uh, we hire all across Canada, 
coast to coast. We're focusing on uh, the regions of the prairies, Ontario, and also the Maritimes out east. Uh, but if you're from anywhere else, it doesn't matter. Give them a call anyways. Maybe it'll work out. It's just in British Columbia, the, the freight lanes that we have, it may be difficult to get you home sometimes when you want to be home. That's the only reason why they don't focus on that. But if you live there, don't be shy. Maybe there's a job and a truck waiting for you here. We'll talk about that more in the upcoming videos. I'm not on the clock anymore, so I'm going to get my stuff and go into my pickup and go home. It's an early day today. This place is so much busier. It's only been, what, like two months since I was here? And it's already way busier. There's not one place to park <laughs> in the whole <laughs> Which is good, it's good. They got lots going on, they got lots to do. And uh, that's why I'm parked all the way in the back corner now by the tire shop. Uh, that's where they keep the city trucks or the day cabs. And then I keep my pickup there right away too. So we have our own, our own little corner all the way in the back. That's okay because during the summertime, even though we have a paved yard there, uh, it's impossible to keep your vehicle clean because of all the traffic coming and going, coming and going all over in the yard that all that dust just gets kicked up and it sits on your vehicle. So it was impossible to keep this vehicle clean. Now that I'm all the way in the back corner there, I think it'll be a little better for that. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we already got the Rockstar welcome out of the way. I was going to show all the people how what a good boy you are. Guess he just really wanted to say hello to you. Really loudly. How's everything going in here? <gasps> Who got a big rope? What is this? What is this? It's my rope. That should take you a while to chew through, eh? Is this your favorite? This is Diesel's favorite toy right now, besides his frogs. This is his monkey. He's a very angry monkey. He's an angry monkey. But he's very fast. <laughs> we sleep with a lot of blankets. <laughs> I have to have a separate blanket though. Especially now that we got like this smaller twin bed, we're saving up. We're gonna get a queen size in here. Uh, our old king size we gave to the dogs right there. So they got the king size. And the reason we want a queen size is because uh, it fits better in this small room of this small house. King size takes up pretty much the whole room and there's no room for anything on the sides. And we have our dog beds beside us here. Usually there's another one right here, but we take it out to the living room during the day. Got Diesel's bed there, Chevy's bed here. Sometimes they switch. And then Wiener and Frankie's beds are here. Got Wiener and Frankie. And then we sleep here. So it's like one big family here at night. And we all have our dozens of blankets. <laughs> Commander. Britt had her day off today. I told her that she what should- What do you mean had? I'm still having. Oh, yeah. well, good. She doesn't know how to take a day off. So I <laughs> told her this morning I didn't ask her, I told her, you had to relax and put your feet up. I only did a couple loads of laundry and vacuumed and played with the dogs outside. That's all I did. Well, playing with the dogs, that's like a day off type of thing. Well, and I and took out the garbage and recycling. And what? I did some dishes. Okay, I have trouble with relaxing. <laughs> well, I'm the same way. On my days off on the weekend, I do all the laundry of the house too. It's a Pretty sickness. Much. That's how we get things done. That's how we keep this house nice and neat. Mostly her. She keeps the house nice and neat. I help. You can't see the dust on camera. I hate dusting. Wiener, what would you like to say to the good people? Everyone has been asking about you. No, they haven't. Everybody. They all want to know, how are you doing? How are you doing, Wayne? Put me on the spot. I got nothing to say. Say it, Wiener. Does this make you uncomfortable? This is what Chevy was doing to me in the other room. He's getting his, his nose wetness all over the lens. <laughs> Diesel? No? You good? Got home a little earlier than usual today. But again, it was only my second day, so I don't know what usual is yet. Yesterday I got home at, what, 
Today I got home at 4.30. I'm coming around there. It's just nice to have the sun still shining when I get home. Yeah, very. Nice.